Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungo back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungo, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy our weekly content. You can check out our podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse, and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And we've got a Patreon. You guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, thank you for liking, thank you for sharing. Just thank you for watching, thank you for everything. We're very, very grateful. We wouldn't come this far without you guys. So, thank you. I hope you guys are doing alright and may you stay blessed. So today, a big shout out to the person that suggested this. So today I'm going to be reacting to Allah does this on the day of Arafa. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. I love you, Allah. The day of Arafah, it is the most blessed day of the year. It is the day in which Allah boasts to the angels of His servants gathered together, all covered in dust, all covered in dirt, disheveled, but calling upon Him, invoking Him for His mercy, and people all over the world doing the same. The Prophet said, Al Hajju Arafah. Arafah is, or Hajj is Arafah. And what he meant by that وسلم, is that the core of Hajj is Arafah. The core of Hajj is really contained in those moments, those blessed moments of Arafah. Same way the Prophet وسلم, said, Al Dua Hul Ibadah, that supplication is worship. Or he said, An Nadmu Tawbah, that regret is repentance. It's not that it is only regret that is repentance, but the core of true repentance is sincere regret. And then everything that stems from that will be beneficial. Likewise, Arafah is Hajj. It is the core of Hajj. And it has significance to all of us around the world. The Prophet Wasallam said, there is no day in which Allah sets free more souls from the fire than on the day of Arafah. And on that day, Allah draws near to the earth and by way of exhibiting his pride, remarks to the angels, Ma aradaha what is it that these servants of mine are asking me for? So that I may grant it to them. What is it that these servants of mine are asking me for? Imagine the scene of Arafah, of all of these people, four million people, all making dua at the same time, all supplicating to Allah in the same valley at the same time, in their different languages, with their sincere requests, and Allah honoring each and every single one of them at that moment, answering their supplications, each and every single one of them, as they call out to Allah with their hearts and with their souls and in their own languages, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not depriving a single one of them. Imagine how blessed that is when the people all over the world on that day also try to, 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 to be a part of that blessing and call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wherever they are, on this best day of the year, begging Allah for forgiveness, seeking Allah's pleasure, seeking Allah's bounty for everything in their lives, and Allah answering each and every single one of them in the different languages in Arafah and in the different places all around the world. Dear brothers and sisters, the benefits of Hajj and Arafah reach the entire Ummah, they reach the entire nation. So pray for yourself, pray for your Ummah, pray for the people around the world, your Ummah around the world. and. Let the benefit flow inshallah ta'ala because this is the most blessed day of the year. Fasting this day is important. Praying this day is important. Making dua this day is important. Not doing anything that will remove the blessings of this day in terms of sin is important. And the Prophet sallallahu finally he said to us that there is no day in the year in which the shaitan is more humiliated and in more despair than he is on this day, the day of Arafah. Why? Because he sees these people, he sees you and he's been working his you know, for your entire life to take you away from your Creator. And then on this day, in these few hours, you call upon Allah and Allah forgives you for all of your sins. Allah puts you back in good ranking and good standing. And all of his efforts to delude you and to take you astray are in vain. And he sees all of these people calling upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, being forgiven 
leaving his grasp into the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he feels completely humiliated. He sees the descent of the angels coming upon these people. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hearing the reports of the angels and forgiving these people. And the Prophet ﷺ said the only day that he was more humiliated was the day of Badr when he saw Jibreel alayhi salam and his army descend. So it was when he saw Jibreel alayhi salam and the angels descend, Shaytan thought that the end of Islam was going to be the battle of Badr. But when he saw Jibreel alayhi salam descend, the angel Gabriel descend, he knew that he was going to lose this battle. Likewise, on the day of Arafah, when he sees all of these angels descending and he sees these people being forgiven, he knows that he's lost the battle with you as an individual. Make this the day in which you completely stamp the Shaytan out of your life and you are completely freed from any type of punishment and you are amongst those that Allah boasts about and earn his pleasure. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us all this momentous occasion. Jazakallah khairan wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. very interesting video i mean prayer 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 holds so much power prayer is a conversation that we have with god the more we pray the more we're like manifesting something if we're asking for forgiveness god forgives us it doesn't matter how long ago you prayed god forgives us if we're asking for blessings God is going to give us those blessings when he feels like we're ready to um, get them or appreciate them. So, I mean, the video was quite understandable, very simple to understand and straightforward. That's why we should just keep in mind that God will always be there for us, whether to forgive, whether to give, whether it doesn't matter what we want in the world. God will always forgive us as long as it doesn't harm the next person to you. It doesn't harm your neighbor, it doesn't harm anyone. God will always be there for us is what we should keep in mind. Let me know what you think about the message in this video. I know I haven't elaborated on much. I've just given one point. And I'm sure you guys always have something to say. So feel free to comment. And if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below. And we'll do it for you. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next reaction video.